Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between Pim Sleer and Babbel. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the number and specialization of the courses offered. With Pimslier, you'll learn over 50 languages, including Arabic, Hindi, Danish, Croatian, Czech, Mandarin, Chinese, Dari Persian, and more. On the other hand, Babbel offers 14 languages, including Norwegian, Swedish, Turkish, Farsi, Hindi, Korean, Vietnamese, and others. In terms of specialization, Babbel's courses aim to improve your grammar and vocabulary, while Pimslier focuses on improving your speaking and listening skills. Therefore, Pimslier offers more language courses. The Cost In terms of pricing, Pimslier is more expensive than Babbel. A one-language monthly subscription on Pimslier costs $19.95, However, you can also gain access to all the languages available at a monthly fee of $20.95. Additionally, Pimslier offers lifetime access to your preferred language on levels 1, 2, and 5. Each level costs $150, $300, and $575, respectively. On the other hand, Babbel courses go for $7.99 monthly, $35.99 quarterly, and $47.94 semi-annually, and $95.88 annually. An additional lifetime subscription for $499 allows you to switch and study all languages on the platform. Please note that the above prices are current and are subject to future changes. Therefore, Babbel offers more affordable courses. The length of the lessons offered Babbel lessons are predominantly short. Each Babbel lesson takes between 10 to 15 minutes. Here, you're supposed to quickly listen to new vocabularies and repeat them. Thereafter, the words transition into digital flashcards, where after you take a short grammatical lesson, spell the words and type them on the keyboard. Finally, you take a short fill-in-the-blank exercise to gauge your skills. On the other hand, Pimslier lessons are 45 to 60 minutes long. This lays strong emphasis on listening and speaking a particular language. You get to listen to a conversation between two native speakers who will break down the dialogue and vocabulary for you. You can thereafter repeat the words and coach your pronunciation skills. Therefore, Pimslier offers longer and more comprehensive lessons. But do they have any similarities? Yes, both learning apps have structured lesson plans and offer similar languages. To sum up, which is better, Pimslier or Babbel? I like that Babbel is more affordable, more engaging, has shorter lessons, and embraces frequent review sessions, which are very effective in learning. However, Pimslier offers more languages with engaging lessons that make you an active learner. Additionally, it has a worthy lifetime plan that allows you to switch between languages on the platform. Therefore, I choose Pimslier as the winner. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.